34 years ago, ad men hired by the town thought a TV commercial featuring a roller skating boy holding a red balloon would do the trick. It was so successful that the red balloon became an unofficial town symbol. Now a filmmaker has updated that advert and his film premieres in Milton Keynes tonight. Wow, I remember, uh, yeah, you know, I was letting, the, I had to let my balloon off first and like everyone kept letting their balloons off before me and it was cut and they had to re redo it again. Um, yeah, but what a fantastic day it was. Me, me dad was on the bus, the, the green bus. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I got off there and um, come up here and wow, the atmosphere here was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. It took two weeks uh, to make it. Um, I stayed in the Moto Hotel in Bedford. Um, yeah, it was very good. Uh, absolute brilliant. <laughs> Can't say much more than that. It's absolute brilliant. It's quite interesting. We were probably the first into the colour supplements. We ran considerable campaigns in forty-eight sheet poster advertising and four sheet poster advertising on the railway we did rather innovative deals down at London Heathrow um, and when in 83 they were talking about launching Channel 4 our advertising agents Code and Elliot came forward with this idea to me and uh, and spoke of this advertising opportunity that was going on to telly at very competitive rates this was because of the launch of Channel 4 um, and they spoke of this idea of having a, a little lad with a red balloon wandering around the nice bits of Milton Keynes uh, and ending up in the bowl for what turned out to be the great Milton Keynes balloon race. Um, and I suppose when I look back on it, the amazing thing is that the, the corporation felt that its directors were responsible, sensible people who could get on with making decisions about these sort of things. So I pressed the button on making the ad. Um, I think uh, it was a day off school for quite a lot of schools, including my eldest son. He's now 44. He was there on the day. Um, and they ran this ad and we then ran it for a number of years on Channel 4 at these very competitive rates. Um, and this was part of a whole load of stuff that we did associated with the Red Balloon. It wasn't just the ad. Um, we did subsequent um, events that were linked to the Red Balloon ad. Yeah, I remember the day, um, yeah, I had to uh Collect the balloon off this big tall clown on stilts. Um, uh, yeah, I collected it and, and if I didn't do it right, I had to, uh, it's like cut, I had to do it again. Uh, we spent about four hours here because um, I remember the, there was about 20 kids doing the old karate scene. Um, yeah, I made you know, friends with a couple of them. Uh, I see them at the end uh, where I let my balloon off. Um, yeah, and I had to pull this face. I had to get it right. Um, yeah, it was quite a, quite a long reach for the the clown. <laughs> Remember that well. Um, yeah, really good to be back. Yeah, this is um, one of the shortest scenes. Um, yeah, I, I spoke to a, a, a bloke that works here yeah, yesterday. Um, he still remembers it, 34 years ago. Um, 
yeah, this is where I come through with my balloon. Um, yeah, it's very quick, really. Um, yeah, they had all the, the, you know, cranes and all that um, just down the bottom here. Um, about an hour filming. Um, very, very quick, this one. Uh, walking through here. Um, remember this one? Qu vaguely. Because <laughs> it was a quick scene. It was like straight through. Yeah, this is one of the funniest uh, moments, uh, personally, for me. Um, yeah, they, they brought down the um, pavement um, through some of the, the shots. Um, I, I fell over a few times, um, and all the bikes uh, were, were chasing me. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I had a few scars from this one, I think. <laughs> Right, yeah, this is um, the, the scene where the uh, decorated with the ladder and the, the bike stopped. Um, yeah, I come rolling down here. Um, took a few takes, um, and I remember this this hill very very much uh, because they had to stop filming because I fell over, hurt myself um, quite badly. Uh, so they stopped filming for about half hour, something like that. We we done it, and uh, yeah, it went well then after that. Absolute brilliant. <laughs> Can't say much more than that. It's absolute brilliant. Best experience of my life. Um, I'd, I would do it again, whenever. Uh, brilliant. And what I've loved about being involved in this um, this film is really seeing that connection for all generations so there's the kind of the generation that were involved in making the film uh, there's the generation that were inspired by the film and now there's a new generation that are just kind of making that connection with the past and i think that's that's fantastic so i i don't i'm not one of the people that says nostalgia isn't what it used to be i think it is i think it's been brilliant and really enjoyed it it's so great for us all to have been a part of, of such a great film that's just gained momentum it, it's worth pointing out to my listeners here that, that this was a real uh, project of love. It was a real labour of love for you. And when you first had the idea, you would have had no concept as to how much it would be picked up, not only um, by local people in Middle Kings, but by the people who starred in your video, um, the, the local gallery. Everyone got behind it, didn't they? Uh, he is Milton Keynes, born and bred, 37 years old. He says that the film is a love letter to Milton Keynes, but of course it's also a love letter to that original 1984 movie. Yeah, for me, I, I get to do some good, great stuff um, because of some sport and, and because of what I've achieved, but this made it a little bit more special. It's been something of a community thing, and even though this is my home, it, you know, this is, it still felt really special. It means a lot to a lot of people because it was either an advert which resonated with them enough for them to move to Milton Keynes or they were actually part of that advert so for that to kind of jog their memory and, and take them back in time is, um, is a great thing. But unbeknownst to you, you've actually meant a lot to a lot of people. I didn't know because, that until Richard told well, me. Well yeah and, and also when you think about it, the, 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 the film itself was created to 
bring people to Milton Keynes. And you can absolutely guarantee that across Milton Keynes and across the MK postcodes yeah. are people who are there, or perhaps whose parents are there, yeah. because they saw you in that film. Have yeah. you sort of computed that, that the importance of that? To be honest, the people that I've met throughout the whole process, and Mark included, um, I think as a creative, if this is the last project I do, then I, I can look back on it and actually feel very good. We went out with a bang. <laughs>